Welcome to this Allen Talks Tech video. For further information on my technology videos, please visit my wiki at allentestwiki.pbworks.com. Here is some of the terminology that is frequently used within MPLS. For example, FEC, forwarding equivalence class, a group of IP packets which are forwarded in the same manner for example, over the same path with the same priority and the same label. Label, a short fixed length identifier which is used to identify a FEC or forwarding equivalence class. Label swapping, looking up the incoming label to determine the outgoing label, encapsulation and port. As you'll see, there is no end-to-end -end significance with the label values that are used in MPLS. Label switch path, or LSP, a path through one or more label switch routers for a particular forwarding equivalence class, or FEC. LSR, or label switching router, an MPLS capable router. MPLS is a layer two and a half protocol. It sits between the MAC layer and the IP layer. It is a very useful protocol allowing carriers to establish virtual private networks across large public networks. This technology can also be found deployed in large enterprise networks. MPLS allows groups of users or applications to be grouped together within one label and provide, if required, their own separate service agreements or service level agreements. In addition, by encapsulating the data within the label, you are effectively isolating these users or applications from other traffic running within the network. The label is referred to as a shim and comprises of 32 bits. The first 20 bits are used to uniquely number the label. As will be shown, this has no end-to-end -end significance. The next three bits are known as the experimental bits and are used to indicate the quality of service or priority of the label. It is possible to have multiple labels stacked on top of each other. The one bit bottom stack flag, or S bit, is used to signify that the current label is the last in the stack if it's set. Then finally we come to the TTL, or time to live. Uh, this basically serves the same function as in IP and will stop the packet or the label going into an endless loop if the TTL is decremented down to zero. A number of different protocols are used to set up these labels. Two of the most popular are LDP, the Label Distribution Protocol, and RSVPTE, the Resource Reservation Protocol with Traffic Engineering. Labels may also be manually configured by the network operator. Shortly I'll be posting other videos on subjects covering 6PE and 6VPE. So as you'll find out, there are in addition other labels, other label technologies which can also be used. Here we have an example of how a packet moves across a VPN implemented using MPLS. The packet enters the ingress router. The label, with a value of 40 for this example, is pushed onto the frame between the MAC and the IP layer. The label travels to router 2 and is swapped for a new value of 45 and is directed to router 3. Router 3 is a penultimate hop router. It is frequently the job of this router to remove the label. This helps reduce the load on the egress router as it may have to remove the labels from many other different sources. The packet can now be directed to the egress router R4 for final delivery. Thank you for watching this Alan Talks Tech video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to get more information on my technology videos with additional material, you can visit my wiki at allentestwiki.pbworks.com. Once again, thanks for viewing.